What's up guys? Welcome back. We're gonna go ahead and try to do the home tour walkthrough. Um, there's a decent enough um, light outside so shouldn't have too much of an issue seeing in the bathroom. Um, and then the bedroom, just a little FYI, is still uncompleted at the moment so there's not much to see in the bedroom. But, you know, we'll go ahead and walk through the whole place for the most part. Um, so over here, obviously you got the front door. Oh yeah, another thing. We don't have curtains yet. I need to put in some curtain rods so we can run some actual curtains. Right now we got some stuff rigged up to keep some light out. So just kind of, you know, ignore that um, if you can. So we got the front door. Got the uh, four-way light switch thing going on right here. We got the uh, porch light, kitchen light. These two, the guy kind of got them crossed. Doesn't really matter. They both work. Show you here with the kitchen light. Then we got this light. And then we got the living room light. As you can tell, everything works. I'll shut the porch light real quick if you want me to. Might as well. So yeah, I mean, got uh, lights going on. Look at this stupid, there we go. Um, got the couch. I love these couches, dude. I really do. Got this custom made pillow. Coffee table. There's some stuff scattered. A lot of cat toys and stuff right now. That's our cat's little hutch. That's her little dining room table. Her scratching post. Got the TV sitting on this right now. Just a little FYI. This TV is only a 32 inch. It's extremely tiny. Eventually, we're going to get like an actual TV stand and have an actual size TV. We got the uh, one of the 8 foot baseboard heaters. Then we got the other eight foot baseboard heater over there. We got the bed in the living room for right now until the bedroom gets completed. There's the love seat. The outlets work. Obviously, we got the fan plugged in. Going down to that. I hooked up all these outlets and light switches by myself because the electrician wanted to be an asshole and disappear internet modem routers and stuff we'll move on over here Got some, uh, this is all temporary. Um, so let me step back for a second. This, where these two, uh, shelf things are, that's where the refrigerator is going to go. And then you got the stove right here. And then I'm going to put in a shelving unit. And the microwave is going to sit up here on the shelf and plug into this outlet. And the shelf is going to run all the way around, so... Most of this stuff will be up in the shelves. Now we have this rigged up. We have the bathroom sink in the kitchen temporarily because uh, we still have to get a cabinet or rig something up to put the kitchen sink in here. So until that happens, we're using the bathroom sink in the kitchen. And then once we get the kitchen sink done, this will move back into the bathroom. We got our kitchen table here 
as like a little makeshift counter. Most of this stuff is temporary, just saying. So we'll move into the hallway. Hallway light doesn't work yet. I'll explain that in a little bit. Move into the bed, to the bathroom. Turn the light on. This is what I was talking about. It's dark. There we go. So this is the uh, move this bag out of the way. This is the bathroom. Pretty big size tub. I like the shelving unit. I installed this shower tub by myself. No help whatsoever. In wall mounted heater. Yes, it actually works. Got the water heater hooked up. The water heater is only 2019, guys. So let's see. It says it right here. Manufacturer date. July 1st, 2019. That's still pretty good for a water heater. I got it wired in. I need to put some kind of conduit over this wire just to make it a little safer. I mean, you can touch it and not get shocked, but still got to put a protective layering in there. So you got your main two pipes that come up hot, cold. Then you got the pressure relief pipe right here. That runs down and drips the runoff into the bucket. Got the toilet right here. Toilet does flush. It's hooked up. This is where the, uh, right here, this is where the uh, bathroom sink is supposed to go. And then you'll have a vanity here with a mirror. And that wire right there is for the vanity lights to plug into. That's going to be a bathroom outlet. Washer and dryer goes in here. I got the washer and dryer hookups there. The washer outlet's going to be there. And the dryer outlet's going to be there. And that's the back of the wiring. Or the piping for the, uh, for the bathtub and shower. Two outlets right there. I can show the bedroom. There isn't much going on in the bedroom, guys. It's a bit of a mess at the moment. So this is going to be the bedroom. Um, now, most of the walls are insulated for the most part. We still have to insulate the ceiling. Um, but this room's not going to take that long to finish. I'll show you guys the fuse panel real quick, what we got going on. So all the switches in the right column, to the right is off, to the left is on, and then it's opposite for the left column. So, let's see what's going on here. We got bit. Number one is bedroom heater. Number two is the main lights that covers the living room, dining room, and kitchen lights. Number four is all living room outlets. Number three is half of the bedroom. Number six is the, uh, wait, what did I say? Number three is half of the main bedroom, and number six is the bathroom outlets. Number eight seems like the only thing on eight is the only like the washing machine outlet itself. Five and seven is a double breaker. It's for the living room baseboard. Nine and 11 is for the kitchen baseboard. 10 is for the bathroom heater. 12 is the other half of the bedroom. Also covers the half of the bedroom outlets, the bedroom lights, hallway light and bathroom lights. I don't know why. 13 is panel GFI. This weird panel GFI, just this one runs through and goes to a second outlet. So there's only two outlets on that one, and the other one goes into the bedroom. 15 and 17 is that double 50 
That's for the stove. 14 and 16, kitchen one, kitchen two outlets. 18 and 20 is the water heater, and 22 and 24 is the dryer. And that's pretty, ah, ah, let's go. Come on. And that's pretty much it for that. Now, I don't know why the guy would have put, he's got the bedroom lights, bathroom lights, hallway light, seems like they're all on the same breaker just an interesting choice i probably would have put the bathroom lights on with the actual bathroom outlets and made the whole bathroom on one breaker but i don't know um what are you doing huh what are you doing you hear the baseboard crackling it's the metal heating and contracting when it heats up. It's warm as heck in here. It does great. Um, but yeah, guys, that is uh, pretty much. Yeah, look at this. The uh, kitchen ceiling turned out really well. This is insulated. So these are actually going to be wood. And it's going to have a shelving unit on it. That's going to get blocked off with wood. That's also going to have a shelving unit and then shelving unit at the top. And that's not going to be drywall. I'm trying to get as much space and room as possible. But yeah, guys, that's uh, pretty much the house tour in a nutshell at the moment. Um, but all right, I'm going to go ahead, uh, jump off here, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. See ya.